Mmm, <laughs> trains. Generic greetings and welcome to Derail Valley demo build number 5 Alpha. This is a freely available demo which is dedicated to displaying and demonstrating what this game will be like when it's released and it's pretty much about driving trains in VR. There's going to be keyboard and mouse support as far as I'm aware but it's mainly about the VR and that's just great because it's as if someone has reached into my head, pulled out the brain, realised it's quite small and there's not much in there, but a large proportion is dedicated to wanting to driving trains in VR, so here we go. Now, I've been aware of this demo for quite some time, but I've not actually tried it because it only officially supports the HTC Vive and I've got a Rift with touch controllers, so I always put, I've been putting it off, but I thought, you know what, I'll give it a go and I'm happy to say that it functions pretty much without incident, apart from a couple of um, bit that where you grip is slightly different it's a little bit off but you know what it seems to work perfectly fine and for a demo this is great I've played about 45 minutes of this thing so not a not a great deal but certainly more than um, some uh, VR games that I've bought and this is only a freely available demo so hey ho right I'm just going to show you a little bit of it and you can uh, you know come along for the ride I guess so let's just press a button and we'll click start and we'll go inside the engine it's not a train yet because we haven't got uh, well, anything on the back. So, quick, uh, quick overview first. Uh, there are options to go from seated mode to uh, standing. I'm currently in the seated mode, um, but I, I have used the room scale stuff, and it worked perfectly fine. So, uh, we can have a look around. This is our engine, as you can see. It's um, very, very uh, well. It's very well used, and. Um, I believe it, yeah, it's a diesel, obviously. Uh, it might be a Delta, is it diesel electric? I, yeah, I guess so, I guess most of them are like that. As you can see, we're in a fairly nice looking, uh, probably just like a little yard of some kind. In fact, it just tell me somewhere in here where we are. Hang on, I will just pick this up. We are in, we are in Y. There we are there, which is uh, the new yard, I'm guessing. Yeah, I think that's where we are. Anyway, so uh, we can reposition ourselves by obviously lean rating over there, but since there's a chair in the way, we can uh, just go like that if we really want to. And we can look out that side, or we can go that's behind us, or we can go behind us there, and then finally we go back over to there. There you go. So you can move around quite easily. It's very good for that one. Also, you can uh, grab things and move stuff around, as you might imagine. Um, we've got, well, this is our um, throttle. It's not uh, forward and reverse. You will throttle forward and throttle back, and this is your reverse button, like so. Uh, you've also got your brake on that side. In fact, if we look at this quick go, oh dear, oh dear, that just went through the floor. Um, one weird thing, you were... Uh, <laughs> when I first played this, I went, oh, let's, oh no, the manual! And then I dropped it and went to pick it up, and I just realized there's something on the floor here. Hang on. What's this? It is... I don't know what that is. Uh, hang on. Is this... Is this what I think it is? Uh, yeah, that's an air freshener. <laughs> What's an air freshener doing on the floor? Mmm. This train now smells like citrus. <laughs> okay. I don't really have a, a diesel and rust and sweaty engineer slash uh, conductor air freshener so we'll go with the uh, the nice citrus anyway so uh what do we need to do well for a start that is a clock counting up and that's that's actually important because we have a job list so there is actually objectives in this one so if we scroll along we can see that first job is shunting job uh it, the deadline is 12 it needs to be destination uh, y3 which we know from here, hang, that's the wrong manual, uh, we'll put that there, from here, uh, Y3 is where we are now, and it is there, so we're probably on, um, we're probably on Y4, I think, but we'll, we'll, uh, what I'll do is I'll go forward, and I'll check it out, I've not actually done any of these objectives, I've just had a little, uh, little drive around and such, anyway, so we also need to get some cars on there, so red, uh, red, white, and blue, there we go, um, plus 10 generic patriotism pay points there, um, what else have we got to do, uh, oh yeah, horn, Lovely. Uh, you've got lights. Um, lights. L lights no work. Hang on. There we go. Yeah, they are working. Uh, that one's probably rear lights, I'm guessing. Anyway, we've also got some switches that don't seem to do anything, but, um, you know, we'll uh, go for those later. Oh, you can also couple up your car and things like that, but we, uh, we've got nothing back there. So anyway, let's just have a little drive forward. So we want to make sure it's in forward, which it is. Uh, we want to give it no brakes and a little bit forward. 
I have to confess the detail is very nice, like that actually kicks out some more smoke. The sound design is great as well, it does sound like a, when you're going faster you've got all the ch chung ch chung as it's going over and it does start rocking back and forwards. Can be disorientating at times, especially when it goes forward and back. Left and right's not too bad, but when it's going up and over like that, like a horse, uh, like if I, what if I do this and brake hard, when it sort of tilts forward there, that's Oh no, I don't like that. That's quite disorientating. Anyway, so I'll just have another look around. That says Y1 uh, in red as well. Uh, that doesn't seem good. Hang on. Um, no, there's definitely no Y1, so that's fine. So if that's Y1, we're in... Hang on. What's the, what's the orientation of this? That's the question. Uh, there's one coming back from there. So that could be... No. Okay, I have no idea. Either way, uh, I'm going to have another look over there. Actually, we'll see if we can see anyone around here. It is... I'm going to cheat. No. Can't see any more. Okay. Right, let's just uh, give it a bit more beans. Let's just uh, take the break off before we burn the block out by trying to uh, pull forward. Obviously, we've got things like uh, speedometer in kilometers an hour. Oh, I like this, the change log, what they're uh, planning on doing, what they have done and stuff like that. It's really cool. Um, as, far, as far as I'm aware, the fully released... Oh, it's going to go for early access first and then, uh, then uh, obviously, completion and stuff. Um, but they're uh, going for, I believe, it's the, uh, the Vive uh, and uh, Rift support uh, on that uh, early access release. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we have got some things over there, which I can see. So I'm just going to uh, take the brick off, go a bit further forward there, and uh, we'll see what these are. You need a pair of binoculars in this game. You need to be able to look through a pair of binoculars. Mandatory. Really do. Or somewhere to zoom in. Um, well, binoculars will be a bit more immersive. Although, maybe it's orientating because you've got headset and then fake headset. And, uh, okay, uh, that's Y2. Okay. Right, that's important to know because we have uh, an objective to get those three to Y3. So, if that's one, two, we should have three over here. Which, uh, that's Y4. Y5 sword, yes, actually, hang on, are we on Y3? What's that up ahead? Let's give it a bit more forward, a bit more large. Come on. Yeah, we're going forward there. And we'll just feather the brake on. Now, that is Y3. That is Y3. So we're on Y3. Okay. So Y3, oh, it looks like that one is wrecked. Aha. Uh -huh. So put that brake on there. So we need to get um, these three cars to Y3. So the question is... Uh, do we have a red, white, and blue? There we are. There we go. Now, does it have to be in the right order? I have no idea. However, um, I'm going to assume that it is not because that will be a lot easier. So that is on... What track is that? Y4. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to head over to there. Uh, we'll take the brake off. We'll go forward and we'll have to go out and we'll switch the points and we'll come back in. You can switch the points by using this thing here and that's probably far too much throttle. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, oh, and he overshot it. Right, that was always dandy. Right, let's uh, go back over. So, we want to be backing up on that one there. So, I want to go back to my controller. This is my point switcher. I would prefer... I mean, this is a radio, because what you do is you point it at the target, and then you middle mouse, and it switches the points. Um, so, this one... Uh, point it. Okay, so we should be able to go back through that one and then back on... Actually, that might have been the right one. Yeah, that one was correct. Okay, let's try that. So, put that back. Beverage. And reverse. Break off. <clears throat> and we'll feather it a bit. See, I'm actually leaning on my chair. There we go. Job done. So, yeah, that's correct. Should be able to just relax now a bit. Just try to rub my nose and punch the head, the controller and the headset together. That's always good. Oh, 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 oh. No! Run, 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 run. Ooh. I don't think I've derailed it. Oh, but it's going to be a close call. Right. I didn't. <laughs> that was close. Okay. Yeah, I almost... <laughs> I almost derailed it. That was inches away. Right, let's... let's. 
Yeah, can we have that? Can we have that permanently locked, please? Right, reverse. Give it a bit, and we'll lay back. I'll make sure I've got my hand on the throttle, so I can feather this one if need be. Actually, hand on the brake, probably better. No, we're fine. Right, that's working. And I can already see I'm going along the wrong way. <sighs> okay. Go, 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 go. So we need to be back on that one. I say it's not overly easy to uh, to figure out exactly where you need to be, just because of the because uh, you can't really judge well, the distances. You need a bit. You need binoculars, I think. And there we go. So put the brake on. We want to switch that one there. Hang on, that one's already switched. Is it? That one, yeah, that's the right one. Okay, it was already switched. Yep, that seems fine. All right. Uh, yeah, that one there. I think it's that one. Well, there's only one way. I mean, to be fair, I could have got the bloody manual. Um, <laughs> so. Damn it, I think I'm going in the wrong one. Okay, well, let's just try it. I think I need to be the next one. Uh, can't really judge it. Oh, hang on, that looks okay. Yeah. Alright. So we'll give it a bit more. And obviously this is only one of one of the trains that hopefully will be in the game. Hopefully we'll get uh, different types of trains. We'll get uh, steam is my personal choice obviously. Or we could get some, uh, well, we've got some diesels like this. Maybe fully electric. I don't expect bullet train but you know, whatever. Right. So we need to get close enough to engage the couplers. So that's Shifting quite nicely. Obviously, we will have to hit this, but not at uh, ludicrous speed, so we'll give that a little bit. Got my hand on the throttle, hand on the throttle, and bang, there we go, we've hit it. Okay, so, uh, this is consignment one fail. What? What? Why? What's happened? Have I pushed it off the back? That can't be right. Oh, we've expired on the time. Oh well. Uh, well, at least I can drive forward and show you. That's backwards. There we go. Okay. And um, I didn't I didn't show you that there, but I'll actually stop and uh, want to show you something. Look at this. It actually shunts back and forward. So obviously you've got the actual real carriage. It's got like a essentially like a hook like that that sort of clamps on. And uh, yeah, this is good. I like the detail on this one. So we're forward. Throttle. Watch. Look at that. And then it connects. Yeah. And then it well then it grabs and it's. Uh, all sorted and you can hear it taking up the strain you can hear it like crunching and grinding spot on oh that's kicking out some uh, that's kicking out some uh, inferno there right so what we're gonna do now since we failed the mission we're simply gonna that's a bit that's a good consignment and a half two four six six cargo containers on oh they're not suicides I thought they were um there's some of them by the um, the people who do all the rail hopping and stuff. Uh, sometimes if they've got the forward and back bits not gated over, they're, uh, they're called suicides because it's just an open bit and you get under the wheels. And it's a horrible thing. Um, but yeah, it looks like they've got a, something on top of it. Right, so anyway, we're driving along, no problem. Let's have a look behind. We can see the uh, concert coming through. All fine, no no problems whatsoever. Um, we're just going to have a little, a little drive around. So this is the manual to tell us how to do train stuff. We don't need that. We've already seen that. Uh, uh, that one we'll probably care about. That one, that's a job list. We'll put that back. We've also got a car list as well. So we can say things like, this is where the cars are on um, the different locations. So that's pretty cool. Put that back. So I mean, for a demo, this has got more features than a lot of uh, paid, uh, paid VR games, quite honestly. It uh, looks like we're not going to go down that one, which is good. I, uh, it's also good because I wasn't uh, watching where I was going. I think it's all, yeah, it's all dilapidated and stuff. I do like it, uh, the detail in it. It's very, very nice indeed. So anyway, uh, let's just have a look at the map. Um, we can see that, hang on, wrong one. Where's the map? That's a quick guide. 
There's that one there. <sighs> Dropped it, there we go. It does appear back. However, the third time to Third time the charm. There we go. Uh, the that's the one I was looking for. We can see we've come from Y. Now we're going to come round here. Now we've just passed this section here. All right, and we're going to come around this curve, and then we've got the this this uh, bit of track here, and then we'll go through the foresty bit, and then across a bridge. Uh, there's a tunnel over there as well, but I, I don't think you can go through. I think it's a Wiley Coyote tunnel with a, like a fake paint a bit on there. Um, by the way, the speed limit on this thing is like 40, I think, on this corner, so I'm uh, I'm well under the limit. But to be fair, we have got a... I wouldn't say it's a large thing. It's uh, a couple of hundred tons, probably. It depends what it's filled with. Anyway, let's give it a bit more large. A bit more beans on that one. Um, what you can do as well is see this uh, dial? This is, I believe, uncoupled bits, so if I do that... And we stop. See that there? Cars have stopped and they're going to bang into this. And I want to see if it uh, transmits the shock. Don't know if it did. Okay, but um, we can actually we can actually uh, couple it if we uh, get close enough again. So can't see it from here. You can see the. Uh, hang on. Oh dear, yeah, that's 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 all kinds of bad. Um, couple, there we go. We've now coupled. Ideally, you would do it a lot less um, garbage than that, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, th there's one thing I did assume indeed wrongly when I first started this game. And that was that you couldn't derail. I thought, you know what, it's called derail value, but there's no way they're going to put all of that into the game. They have. Uh, so don't be taking a 35 turn at 65 kilometres, because guess what? You'll go off. And uh, I don't mean, like, I, do, I don't mean the fish in the cars behind us will go off. I mean, the train will literally leave the track. <laughs> so, shudunk, oh well, you're fired, and also, you've got no train restart. Anyway, so, what are the details we got in here? Well, lots of rust and things like that. Switches that don't do anything. Lights that don't do anything. And dials that don't do anything. Um, I would hope at some point, what's that say? 60, what we're doing? Uh, ah, we're just doing under 50, that's fine. I think actually we'll pull it back a little bit because quite honestly, we uh, we don't need to be doing that one. I, I've never, uh, obviously driven a train. <laughs> Just, I think that's. I don't know why that I had to point this out, but I've uh, I've been on the full plate. Um, I've been on them several times, and vintage ones, obviously other ones, new ones, whatever. Um, uh, I like trains, but um, one thing they have got is the the weight of it. Like if I do that throttle off, this thing could probably take a mile to stop, right? With no brake, it just got, it's not it's not cartoony, and um, I like that. And oh, look at that bridge. Let me just. Put a bit of brake on for that. It feels like we are taking this a little bit too much, but that's okay. And uh, just listen to the sound. Listen here. So that's us rocking back and forward on that, and then sound change. We're going to go across the bridge. So much detail. So much detail. I'm blown away. <laughs> oh, demo of the air. Anyway, uh, that's 40. We are. Bang on 40. Excellent. Cool. Mmm, beverage. Invisible floor. Need to fix that. Uh, <laughs> so according to the map, um, we are coming up on this... Oh no, we're, we're just... Ah, there, oh, there's the tunnel, so we're about there. About there. By the way, I'm aware that what you see is um, slightly different because I've had to crop it and stuff and the recording is a bit annoying because it doesn't have a doesn't have a spectator mode as you would expect for a demo but uh, I've done my best to make it uh, at least viewable and that looks a bit dodgy so let's uh, give that a bit of breaks there we go look at that like the, the carriage is back into it so I'm gonna have to throttle it up a bit and see if we can get up this hill oh it doesn't like it come on come on these things are sliding down as well. <laughs> there we go. That's fine. So we are now here. So we could be going into. Are we going into? No, let's actually go into the uh, into the yard. 
yeah, uh, the place is quite nice as well. Nice to see. Uh, it'd be nice to see other places in the uh, full game, but you know what? If it's just this, that'd be fine. I mean, this this is great. Just like the objectives and you know the actual challenge modes. I, I could totally understand if they just did the sandboxy type thing where you just drive around and experience it. But no, uh, there's objectives even now. So you know, who knows what else is going to be added? So I just want to see what this is. Now you can hear the cars hitting me behind me, ready? Actually, it won't actually any off throttle. And wait, here we go. That thunk, you hear that thunk? That was them hitting me. Looks like we've got some, um... Oh, there's motherboards or something in there, that's MSI. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, I think I mentioned you can tr I can do room scale, so I'm currently more seated, but if I go to room scale, I can stand up and I can reach for that and I can move around and things like that. But you know what? I actually prefer uh, the uh, the sitting, quite honestly. Um, right, so we're going to have to back this out, uh, and that's not ideal. So what we'll do, pull the brake off, give it a reverse, and give it some of that. Yeah, and you can see we're now pushing on that. And I need to switch that point, I think. That's the wrong button. <laughs> okay. There we are. Yeah, set of binoculars, I think, would be nice. Um, you know, boulder for this would be nice as well. A floor that's solid, that, that would be quite decent. Um, I really want to uncouple the cars and just stop the train and just see how far they go. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back over, I'm going to go across the bridge again because I think that'll be cool. Alright, we don't need that. Whoa, bloody hell. That's a derail. Yeah, that's a derail. Damn it. What happened is I put the brakes on and, uh, yeah, assuming all them lines are connected, it's brake hard on a turn and I might have messed that up. Uh, let's see if we can power out of it. And that's not gonna work. Right, um So on couple Oh dear <laughs> Oh dear oh dear <laughs> I think I'm gonna get fired <laughs> Um hey ho So let's do that Wait until we're past this bit We'll switch it again Then we'll go back And we'll check the damage out So There we are Obviously if we've got like Different engines Steam ones There'll be loads of like Dials to turn uh, Valves to turn And stuff like that And um, hopefully there'll be like Hopefully there's going to be Things like um, Oil pressure and fuel pressure And problems that you'll have to uh, not maybe not problems you're gonna have to fix, but like, you have to keep an eye on these things. And if you're, you know, really giving it everything, you could uh, end up messing it up. And oh dear, oh dear, that's bad. Wow. Okay. Didn't realise I'd uh, messed it up like that. Right, where's this? Where's the switch? There we go. Forward. Forward. And it is really immersive. It really is immersive. Apart from the odd like jiggle up and down and stuff, it mm, doesn't sit well with me. But obviously, the, the, not everybody has different reactions to VR, so I'm not gonna, you know, go on about it really. Um, time to check the seat. No, I don't know what that is. Probably emergency stop. Yeah, may have messed that up. Um, I've never actually—I know you can derail, but I've never tried hitting anything. So let's see what happens. Don't try this at home. Actually, you could probably try this at home with your uh, toy trains. 
just if you have a real life train i probably wouldn't recommend that yeah i might have i might have derailed the train um okay so press to restart <laughs> There you go, and we're back here. So obviously, we've got the objectives. We go forward, we have to pull back, we grab that one, and yeah, it'll be a bit easy now that we know exactly where we're going. But that has been a bit of a derail valley. I honestly think from this little demo that it is spot on, absolutely spot on. I, It's everything that I could expect from a demo and also everything that I really uh, was looking for in um, a sort of drone driving simulator. Don't know when the full game's coming out, hope it is sooner rather than later. Also hope that uh, obviously it's going to expand on what we've seen here, take a couple of the little niggles out, but for a demo, you can't really ask for more. It's fully functional, it works, like I say, I'm running this with the um, Rift and also the touch controllers where it's meant for Vive, and it's, it's working perfectly fine. So yeah, links in the description, you can download this and try it out yourself. The version at the moment doesn't have um, keyboard and mouse support as far as I'm aware, but the future one uh, is, that will be the full release. Uh, don't know what stuff they're going to be adding uh, in terms of like uh, content for trains and objectives and types of trains and tracks and locations and blah, but that's why everything's in the description and you check it out. But from what I've played now, really excited and uh, we'll be definitely checking out the uh, full version when it comes out. Uh, if you um, want to see more of this demo, then by all means let me know. I'm more than happy to feature more of it because, quite frankly, I'm going to be playing more of it. So, you know, if you want to see more, let me know and uh, we will go from there. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.